anybody, Jim from Jim's Holy Use of Coley is okay. The, the seeds are in. If you're following along, stay tuned. Uh, as uh, we get closer and closer to spring, I'm going to have more and more videos out. Uh, just updating the um, germinations as they come in, any problems you may have. So stay tuned here. Of course, you can always uh, send me a, uh, shoot me a text. Uh, Instagram, again, as I mentioned. Uh, so any problems you're having, if you're following along and you're growing coleus along with me. So coleus are in. They're in the greenhouse. Uh, they look good. I'm expecting tomorrow or the day after to have the first little green um, germinations. I'm expecting to see them. At that point, uh, I'm, I'm not going to pop the dome yet. I'm going to wait till I actually see the... Um, I'm going to actually wait until I see them clearly see that they're germinated. Then I'm going to pop the top of the dome tray. I'm not going to remove it. I'm just going to move it to the side a little bit to let some air circulating in there. These domes, uh, someone had asked a question that, you know, don't they need uh, oxygen? And yeah, yes, they do. But the domes, um, they're not airtight. So oxygen still gets in there. The trays are not airtight. It's not like they're hermetically sealed Oxygen still gets in there. The dome, the reason for the dome is, is to create that ecosystem, the retain the moisture and the warmth and so forth that it needs, especially if you're using heat mats. Without a dome, the heat mats will dry them, the pot dried out and you won't get any germination. So anyway, getting ahead of myself, I'm going to pop the top a little, little bit just to let some air circulate in. Keep that like that. Keep an eye on it. Um, and... I'll let you know uh, in another video when to actually remove the top altogether. And another thing, if you're using a tray like mine, 72 count, 50, whatever count, generally the outer perimeter pods will dry out first. The inner ones retain more moisture because they're drawing the moisture in from the other thing. And that's another why, reason why the dome is. Or if you're using saran wrap, if you're using a pot or whatever, saran wrap, same thing. Once you start, you see in your actual germinations, Pop that little saran wrap off a little bit. Let some air go in and we'll uh, we'll get that. But anyway, I'm going to shoot a little special video out. I'm going to do a best of uh, my favorite coleus creations, my plants through the years. So I'm going to do a little montage with some music. So if you love beautiful coleus, this is going to be a great video. I think you'll enjoy it. It has some beautiful, you know, easy going music and just sit back, relax and enjoy. And it'll give you some ideas of maybe how you want to pot your own. Make sure you make your own coleus, whether it's a little, little pots, larger planters, or hanging baskets, and so forth. So sit back, relax, enjoy this video. Stay tuned as the germinations progress, They'll, uh, and we'll, we'll be shooting out regular videos. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, pass my channel along. I'm hoping this year to get close to or 10,000 subscribers. I'm over 8,000 now. I'm at 82, 8,300. 8, so pass my channel along if you're interested. And anybody you know that loves plants, doesn't have to be just coleus, but we will get them hooked. So, all right, everybody, enjoy the video. We'll see you in another week or so. I'll post another video. Take care. Mm.